Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to pour and finish a concrete public sidewalk in the Beaverton, Oregon area. Please stay tuned. We're going to be explaining the entire process from start to finish. If you want to learn how to pour and finish all kinds of concrete work with the proper finishing techniques, then you're in the best place here on YouTube since that's all we do here at Eternal Rock Construction. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any future videos that we'll be uploading. Here we have approximately 30 lineal feet of five foot wide public sidewalk area that we're going to be pouring today we're using 4,000 psi concrete mix and since this is very close to the street we're able to pour it directly from the concrete supplier truck and we're just starting on this end right here just pouring little by little enough for what we need and we have that little screed board that's that little two by four that you see on the right side. Once we pour enough area, we have that come along rake that helps us to spread the fresh concrete around. And we're just gonna start screeding the concrete surface. We do that by scraping that screed board. And we basically just scrape it on top of the form board on either side and whenever we have excess concrete we just pull it with that come along rake and from there we're able to maneuver the surface and just get it as close as possible with the screed board you can maneuver it from left to right or in different directions that way you can manipulate the concrete and just fill it in as best as possible this doesn't need to be perfect because here in a little bit we're gonna run the bull float on top of everything and that will help to smoothen everything out a little bit more so once we made it beyond a certain point we got a little larger street board and this one we we're just making sure that it goes from the left to the right and we're screeding the entire concrete area. Sometimes we notice that along the edges, it's a little bit low. So what we do there is we just get a little bit of concrete and we just put it in there by hand. And just, just to make sure there's enough, all of that is gonna be further smoothened out with the bull float. And since, since this is only about 30 lineal feet of sidewalk, we were able to pour it pretty quickly and we're pretty much done right here at the end. So once you screed that final area, we noticed that there was a still a, a little bit low spot. And after that, we immediately start using the bull float. That's the tool that you see right there. We're just running it perpendicular to the sidewalk and we also run it parallel to the sidewalk. So we like to do that in many different areas so that way we get the best float as possible. And we also use a hand float like you see right here. He's using that to fill in all of the little dips and gaps and just to work the concrete along the edges as best as possible. Today was quite interesting. It kept raining on us off and on, but thankfully we were able to work around everything. And after we floated, then we can go ahead and run that edger tool along all four sides of the sidewalk. That's what you see right there. They're just running that edger tool, just getting a nice clean edge. And at the same time, we're also opening up joints these are about five by five squares 
So we're just getting a tape measure and just getting it as close as possible to divide it into equal parts. And at the end of the tape measure, it has a little bit of a metal piece to it. And we just use that to make a mark on the fresh concrete. And from there, we can just use our joint tool and that helps us to create that joint you can see the concrete right there how it's like it's very wet and a lot of that happened because it just started to rain fairly recently so after we opened up the joints then we're just running that Fresno tool on top so that's the results that you see right here after we floated everything we opened up the joints you can see how the concrete is starting to, the pores are, are starting to open up and it's just starting the drying process. After we waited about, I would say like an hour and a half, today was a fresh day, so we waited a little while and then afterwards we came in and we're just doing the same thing a second time, opening up the joints again we're gonna run the edger tool on all of the four sides so we can get a nice clean edge and then we have uh, we're also working the hand float so we're just floating all of the surface and it's that's pretty much the process then we're gonna be able to apply the broom finish on the entire surface area so once we did the edger tool, we have that Fresno or that trowel, that's another word for it. You run that trowel tool on each one of the squares back and forth until you get a nice, consistent, smooth finish. And from there, it'll be ready to apply the broom. So that's what we're doing right here is we're just running that broom across a good portion of the area. We're finishing it off on this other side and we're just gonna broom most of it after we get done with brooming most of the concrete surface we're just taking our time with everything and we're gonna give it one final pass with the joint tool and this will make sure that we get a really clean and crisp joint from one end to the other and after that, we're just gonna run the, the brush over each one of the joints. This is the results after we completed everything. You can see the texture of the broom finish across the entire surface. How everything came out really beautiful, just nice and uniform and good quality. The joints, nice and straight. That's why we did it one more time in the end so we get a perfectly clean, straight joint, nice and defined, and you still get all the broom. That's the nice thing about the brush finish that even though you went through it before, you can just do it one final time and it's pretty much the same texture. So we hope you like this video. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell. So that way you don't miss out on any future videos that we'll be uploading in the near future. In the very end, we're, we just put barricades up and we put the caution tape around the entire area so that way we can prevent any people from walking on it or getting into it and making marks or whatever the good thing is I was here most of the day so I was able to just keep an eye out on it but that's pretty much it may God bless you and we'll see you on the next video